Hey everyone, uh, Robert here with Odd Random Thoughts, and I've had an, a real high amount of requests for how to set up port forwarding on Webmin. So I wanted to go ahead and do a short video here on how to do this. It's a really easy process, it won't take very long. So uh, a couple things you need to keep in mind uh, when setting this up is you first need to to know what your server's IP is that's inside your network uh, and that's going to be its LAN IP and then uh, you want to know what service it is that that you want to give access to the outside world and then you need to know what port uh, that service is allowing connections on so if you're wanting to open up SSH to the outside world you would simply uh, s figure out what port your SSH is listening on and that would be the IP and port that you would uh, run destination NAT on. Now the first thing that we want to do to forward a service uh, through NAT uh, is you want to go here uh, you'll start off at your Linux firewall and uh, up here you want to show the IP table of network address translation okay now we're gonna add a rule to the pre-routing uh, chain here and uh, we have all our defaults set to accept but we're gonna go ahead and add a rule and we're gonna come over here and pick destination NAT so uh, right here where it says IPs and ports for DNAT we're gonna check this IP range and in this first box we're going to put the IP of our machine inside our network that uh, we're wanting to run DNAT on. So I will put in my server IP. Okay and then under port ranges and it's okay to leave these blank unless you're wanting to identify a range. In this port range in the first box you want to put the port number uh, that is being used by your server for its service. So let's say that internally on your server you are running a web server on port 8080. Well any requests from the outside world coming through HTTP are normally going to request on port 80. So rather than having to put a colon 8080 on your web address and all that you can just access it with your normal domain name and run destination NAT to send it after it's routed to port 8080. So here you would put in for instance 8080 if that's the port that your web server is running on and then you would want to uh, select the incoming interface for the packet which is going to be equal to your red interface or the interface that's facing uh, the internet and then you want your network protocol to be equal to TCP because these are TCP packets we're, we're dealing with and then under the destination TCP you want to put the port that is receiving the packets from the outside world so here we would put port 80 because that's where the packets are coming in from once they come in at the pre-routing level uh, the destination for the network address translation has been set for this IP at port 8080 okay so in my case uh, my web server is running on port 80 um, so I would just want to have 80 up here and that being uh, the destination and uh, the destination port. Well it says here the action selected above will only be carried out if all the conditions below are met. So incoming packets, TCP packets from this interface destined for port 80 will then be translated to port 80 or 8080 whatever you wanted to use or whatever you are using 
to this server IP. Okay, so we'll, uh, that's all you need to do in destination NAT. Uh, you can give it a comment if you want, it's up to you. Uh, just click create. Then come down here and apply your configuration. Okay, now uh, we want to go back up here and select the packet filtering table because uh, just setting the network address translation is not enough. You also, uh, post routing, you have to tell it if these packets are passing through this router, they need to be forwarded to this other machine. So under the forwarded packets chain here, we're going to add another rule and it will just append to the bottom. And we're going to come up here and check accept. Okay, now here um, is where you want to define again the server IP and the port that the service is running on. Okay, so our network protocol again is going to be TCP, but here in destination address here we want to define our destination address which is going to be again our server IP okay and then uh, the destination TCP port in this box here is going to be equal to the service port on your server so if in destination that you said the destination was for port 8080 on your machine you would put 8080 here but in my case I'm using 80 so I will just put in port 80 um, because it's destined for that port via DNAT so that's all we need to do uh, just accept these packets passing through to that machine and then we'll hit create and then again we will apply configuration and that's all you have to do now you're uh, your Linux firewall is set up to forward that port through destination NAT to your server. Anything coming in on port 80 is going to go only to that server uh, because if you're browsing the web, you know, that, that's outgoing and established connections. That's not direct incoming connections, so that's, this won't affect your web browsing in any way. It's just going to send any new connections coming directly in on port 80 which would be coming from your external facing IP because when you set up your web server through your uh, domain registrar you had set the DNS to point to your outside IP so it's going to hit that and then once it comes in through your router DNS is going to take over from there and if you're running more than one uh, website on your server internal DNS is going to know okay this domain name goes to this config file this domain goes to this one so it'll pick up the right the right a uh, web address through internal DNS but anyway that's all you have to do to set it up okay so now I want to show uh, show you how to enter these rules into IP tables using the command line in the terminal uh, for those of you that are not running webmin so we'll go to our Linux terminal here and uh, let's take a look at our uh, IP tables I'll have to do sudo okay so we see that we have these set up already and this was from all of the previous videos is where these rules came from so if you're curious as to what all these are and where they came from then you can go back and look at some of the other videos but uh, now uh, how you would add uh, the rules uh, for IP tables for destination NAT you would want to add the DNAT line first so you would do sudo IP tables and then you're going to append to pre-routing table and we're going to do NAT dash T NAT dash I on interface ETH 0 
uh, protocol will be TCP and the destination port will be 80 because that's where we're going to send uh, or that's that's the port that the packets are coming in on and then uh, we're going to jump to DNAT and these are going to be sent to sorry dash dash two and then our server IP mine is 118 sorry and then you'll put a colon and then here you will put whatever port your service is running on uh, mine is running on 80 so I would put 80 uh, if your web server has it set up to accept uh, requests on 8080 you would just put in 8080 there and that's saying so anything coming in from the outside world on port 80 is going to be destined for this server IP and this port so it's going to translate that packet and reroute it okay and then you would just hit enter to save that rule I'm not going to save it because I don't want to put that rule in here and I don't want to go back and remove it and all that good stuff so uh, just just know that you would hit enter at that point and then um, we want to go in and add our rule to our forward tables uh, and so we would do a sudo IP tables and we're going to append this rule to the forward table and the protocol will be TCP destination will be our server IP and then our destination port here again if you remember when we set up the webmin the destination port is going to be the port that our service is running on on our server machine so mine would be 80 uh, and if you're running it on 8080 or an alternate port depending on the service you're using you'll have to check your ports but uh, the destination port would either be 80 or 8080 in this case for this tutorial um, I'm using 80 so I would just do that and then we're gonna jump this rule to accept and then you would hit enter and that's all you would have to do to your IP tables rule uh, remember at that point um, you would want to go ahead and save your rules again to your IP tables dot rules file or uh, I believe is what we called it um, in the previous video when I showed you how to uh, set up the firewall and save your rules and then those rules would be applied once uh, the machine is rebooted uh, with webmin it uh, it saves these rules automatically uh, and it sets sets that up in your uh, your network interfaces file so uh, you would be good there as long as you applied your configuration uh, but that's that's it folks that's that's how to forward ports through webmin and uh, also showed you uh, the command line uh, the terminal commands for it so I hope this has been helpful hope this is what uh, you all have been uh, asking about and wanting information on so thanks for watching uh, if you haven't and you're interested in the, the stuff I'm doing here go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up if this was helpful Appreciate it, guys, and you all have a good day.